Welcome. This instructional video will show you how to use InBlock's automated calculator for determining the correct parameters for drilling holes in concrete when repairing cracks by pressurized injection. In general, in order to correctly inject resin into a crack, the hole that you drill needs to intersect the crack as closely as possible to the midpoint of the concrete slab. That way, the resin will flow evenly into the crack, both upwards and downwards, starting from the midpoint of the slab. Remember, correct drilling of holes in the concrete slab is an important part of a properly carried out repair. Let's now look at the calculator itself and the fields where you can enter information. The first field is the slab thickness, or variable D. Simply enter the value for variable D, slab thickness, in centimeters. Let's enter a hypothetical value of 30 centimeters. The next field is the permissible drilling area as a percentage of slab thickness. The default value is 5%, but you can adjust that to give yourself more or less tolerance. We'll come back to discussing this adjustment in detail a bit later. The next field is the distance from the hole entry point to the crack, or variable A. Let's enter a hypothetical value of 15 centimeters. The next field is the drilling angle, or variable alpha. Let's enter a hypothetical value of 45 degrees. Then hit enter on your keyboard. The calculator will then generate a graphic with a label indicating whether the hole, under such parameters, will be drilled correctly or incorrectly. The labels can be perfect in the middle of the concrete, in the zone of drilling accuracy, too shallow or too deep. For example, entering a higher value for the drilling angle can result in a hole that's too deep for a correct injection repair. Entering a lower value for the drilling angle can result in a hole that's too shallow. In some cases, if the drilling angle is too steep, the hole might not intersect the crack at all. The basic idea is that entering the variables of slab thickness, distance of the hole from the crack, and the drilling angle, the calculator will show you whether the hole will be drilled correctly to carry out the repair. The table below, which is labeled Correct Target Calculations for a Given Slab Thickness, is an additional guide that can help you zero in on the correct variables for proper hole drilling. For example, using our earlier parameters of a 30 cm slab thickness, 15 cm hole to crack distance, and a 45 degree drilling angle, the table shows us that two other drilling angles, 44 degrees and 46 degrees, will also give an acceptable result. Let's now go back to the permissible drilling area as a percentage of slab thickness. This identifies the acceptable size of the area around the crack where the hole can intersect it. For a 30 cm slab, entering a value of 5% means that the permissible drilling area extends for a total of 1.5 cm around the crack, or 0.75 cm above and 0.75 cm below. Changing that value to, say, 10% will make the permissible field larger, and so it will expand the range of acceptable hole drilling parameters. In practice, it's hard to drill a hole that intersects the crack precisely in the middle of the slab. Normally, given that there's some variance when holes are drilled by hand, the hole will end up a little higher or a little lower. But what's key is that the hole intersects the crack within a permissible area, and that's what this calculator can help you identify. Thanks for your attention, and good luck on the job site.